Hey everybody, welcome back. So glad you're here with me today. Today is something special. I am doing a collab with my friend Andrea from the Geeks and Beauties. And we're going to do um, makeup bingo. And it's actually called New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. It was created by Emily Hannon, and I've seen her and Teresa's Dead do this, so it intrigued me. It's a new way to talk about makeup releases. Emily made four bingo cards. Each center of the card is, it's a ColourPop release, so that's kind of like your free space, and you, I've made a list of 34 different releases and I'm gonna hit random and we'll talk about the releases and um, if I'll buy them or not I usually don't do uh, will I buy it and this is more of talking about it and what I think about the products because you know I'm on a budget and I can't like I'll be out buying stuff all the time so it's like, hmm, I would buy it if I had the money, or no, I think it's trash. And uh, Andrea and I decided to do this together because we thought that would be fun, and because we were bonding over our mutual love of Teresa's Dead. And, you know, Teresa's aesthetic matches more with Andrea than me because she likes horror movies and stuff. And I, I, I connect to her because she reminds me a lot of my sister. And I like how she wears the Torrid shirts and stuff. That's about it. And she has a nice delivery. And uh, I've been watching Emily Hannon since seeing the first Makeup Nonsense one. And she's pretty good, too. She's nice. She seems nice. And, um... Yeah, so that's what me and Andrea are doing, and I'm in this weird position for this because it's easier to do it on the computer, and usually when you buy want to buy something, you drink, but I don't drink, so instead, I will be eating cotton candy fresh from the amusement park. That's more my aesthetic. <laughs> So let's begin, shall we? The first number I'm gonna generate is, it will let me, fifteen. Come on down, you're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Mm-hmm. Ugh. And this is uh, the Violet Voss Vibes palette. I will insert a picture here. Um, I It's another rainbow palette, which marks off one on my bingo card. And uh, yeah, you just keep going until you get bingo. But it is Violet Voss. I've never tried the Violet Voss formula, which would be nice. It looks more like a pressed pigment kind of palette, but, um, yeah, it, it looks nice, but I already have a ton of rainbow palettes, so I would not be buying this, but I could see if you like the Violet Voss formula, then go for it. But there's just so many rainbow palettes that have come out. And I really, it's kind of like when you hear a song on the radio and they play it over and over again and you start to get sick of the song, even though you love the song. I love rainbow stuff, but it's starting to get annoying. And the next number is 16. Hmm, so random. It is the Beauty Bakery 3-in-1 
hydrating concealer now I don't know if this is their first time making a complexion product <laughs> no they had baking powder I don't know if that's considered complexion product but depending on price I might get it it says it's a three-in-one so that's kind of heavy-duty and uh, yeah I think I'd buy it like I'd have to try it out so I'm not sure I get so iffy on these things sometimes and it is the KKW Kylie perfume they're doing like these lip shape bottles and I've never smelled anything from the KKW fragrances. The bottles are cute AF, but um, I things like that I have to smell first. Like when you're investing into like a perfume, you definitely want to um, like it. <laughs> so. Yeah. Wow. What is this? Mark off. Nope. Not marking off anything. Now we go for number twenty two is two uh there's two kaleidos palettes coming out i think i'm saying it right and i've heard that the formula is awesome if i have oh they're 24 dollars each which isn't bad and the color story speaks to me the teal one does at least and like i like a teal and an orange and if you can tell teal and the rainbow ish one that it looks okay I call it more of a bright one but the teal one I de number 10 is the Fumi and Juvia's Place collection um, it has a six shadow palette which looks gorgeous and I definitely would buy it um, I think there are two glosses and uh yeah, I I only have one Juvia's Place palette, okay? But I love it. <laughs> I would love to have more Juvia's Place palettes in my collection. And I love me a lip gloss, so I don't know if I'd use the lip gloss. I'm not quite sure. I'd have to see the lip gloss in person. But the palette from the swatches, um, yeah, I'd definitely try that. I've never heard of her, but it looks like a nice collection. All right, I'm sucking. 34, you're up next. And number 34 is from an indie brand and it can get I think it's from Canada because the price says 55 Canadian 41 60 USD and it's a brand called Emmy cosmetics new butterfly love palette it looks gorgeous and I like how it looks and would I buy it? Yes, if I had the money. But I would not buy it at this price. It's just a little too much for my liking. Now we're doing 33. I'm thinking I should have had more than 30 something. Okay, 33 is Lucy Beauty. Uh, ice cream social and I would totally buy this so much. It's like 
you just multi-chrome iridescent stuff that I am all about so and it's not even that much in money it is apparently it was back in stock and that's why it was on this website um there's four shades in the bundle and it's for ten dollars for the bundle or you can buy them individually and that marks something off my card and it is something multi-chrome all right Mm. Number eight. Wet and Wild Mega Glow Skin. It is all stuff for skin. It's the Mega Glow brand, like the highlighters. And I know people have their problems with freaking Wet and Wild. Yes, what they did was shitty. But I actually really like their products. And it's one of those ones where I'm wavering on the line. Yeah, they lied. But I really freaking like the products. And it's so cheap. So, I don't know how I feel. But, it's like, <laughs> meh. But, the stuff looks okay. And I like the Mega Glow. I like that they're expanding with face products but it would matter how much they cost but yeah sorry I'd buy them sorry pop it and that marks off a makeup brand making skincare all right next one is number one and, yeah, I started making this list a while ago, and it took me a while to sit down and do this. And number one is the Jeffree Star and Morphe collab. Now, at first, I did not, like, I was like, eh, I don't really think I'm going to like this. And then, of course, they show me what it is, and the reveal, and I, I'm, I'm eating it up. Meeting it up is like pink like it's cotton candy. And I I don't know why, but I freaking want it. I want it bad, and I definitely would buy it. I definitely, like, I want, ideally, I would like the palette and the starberry spray. Because I, I'm that bitch. Like, I just really want it. And I don't know why. And I think we all have that. Like, in our heads. Like, I want this and I don't know why. Cotton <laughs> mm, candy so good. Next is 18. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hmm. An oversized Morphe palette. Yep, that works for number four. And it has millennial pink packaging, but we'll save that one. Number seven is. <laughs> The Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dreams Collection. I don't know the prices of anything, but that palette looks dope. And, like, the packaging looks great. I, like, I'd never bought anything from his brand. I don't even watch him. Like, I watched him maybe a few times, and then I was like, this isn't for me. But I... I would like I wouldn't mind having the palette in my collection and lip glosses are still my thing and yeah I totally buy it don't know if I will but I would and I guess that's the whole point of this hmm, number 30 
tudo. Juno and Co. Setting Powder. Now, there are people that, like, Nikki Tutorials raved about their freaking microfiber sponge. And everyone lost their shit. But I don't know why they're making a setting powder. I, I, I honestly don't know. But, like, I don't use setting powder, so I wouldn't buy it, obviously. And I don't even own one of those sponges. I got, like, the knockoffs from Shop Mose. That I like. But, like, I know people use setting powder. But I don't really think I use, like, the typical setting powder. Like, I'll use, like, a compact or something. But if anyone wants to teach me how, they can. I don't know. But, no, definitely would not be getting this. And let's see... <laughs> It does kind of have millennial pink packaging. So I will mark that down as millennial pink. Next up, we have number nine. Do, do, do. Oh, another, another. This company, Airspun, has like the classic uh, loose powder, but now they're making a loose highlighter. So, I wouldn't buy it because it's loose and I hate loose shit, but I'm guessing it has like the powder puff and probably smells like your grandma. It's called Cody Airspun. And cheap it's it comes in three different shades and they're 596 each but I still wouldn't buy it absolutely not mm. 14 <clears throat> 14 is the spirit board palette from peachy queen cosmetics and yes I would buy this I've been wanting to buy something from peachy queen and yeah I love the whole Ouija board type aesthetic going on here. And like, got some nice purples in there. And I think you can come up with some great combos. Depending on price, I would get it. 21 is Kevin Aquan Foundation Bomb. Now, this is... I don't know if I like it or not. Their products are expensive anyway, but they're great quality, I hear. And I don't know if I'd like a... When I think of a balm, I think of something for my lips. Or I think of um, a cleansing balm. And I don't know if I'd like... It's A balm seems like it would not be full coverage or it would just be a light coverage and I would not be down for that and this would mark the same square as a makeup brand making skincare <clears throat> okay this this would totally mark another rainbow palette. It is Dew Colors Gemstone Palettes. And they look just like the whole idea was copied from ColourPop with nine pan palettes in all these different colors. Green, red, orange, yellow, purple, and blue. So, yeah. That's not a ripoff. Like, I've never tried their brand. Maybe they're good quality, but it's still... Um, a ripoff. Right. Number three. Mm. Oh, 
here we go. Hold on. Where are you? Number three, the Jackie Ina ABH palette. I, yeah, I buy it. I probably won't, but I really like, like, I watched her video. Like, I don't, oh, I don't watch her at all, but, like, that packaging is so stunning. And when she swatched the colors, I was like, yes. I really like that red color she showed, that Wiggleese. That, that was gorgeous. Um, I just want more cotton candy. Um, I would totally buy it, though. I don't own any ABH palettes. <laughs> but, from what I hear, they're phenomenal. Rodea Drive Ofra set, set. And it's like the mini highlighter, a shimmery mist, and a lip gloss. And it's a, you could get it in a bundle or you could buy them separately. Like, I don't own anything from Ofra, but I bought my sister stuff from them. And, um, yeah she enjoys it so but I do like I've always wanted to try their highlighter so yeah number six The Kylie birthday collection. Absolutely fucking not. Like, no. Is it bad enough she has to flaunt? Like, okay, the packaging is cool. But, like, don't be flaunting that you're fucking rich. It's, like, I, I can't express what I'm trying to say. Like... Yeah, she's, she got the hustle and shit. And, yeah, it's her brand. She could do whatever she wants. But it's like, it's overpriced ColourPop. That isn't even as good as ColourPop. And it makes me angry. Because I worship ColourPop. But it just makes me mad. And she's just... Ugh. It's like the... the the Kardashian Jenner fatigue. <laughs> this. 13. 13. Okay, 13 is from a brand I've never. I always hear it on um, What's Up in Makeup called Terra Moon Cosmetics. And it's a collab with Amanda Organa. I never heard of her. And it's a Neons collection. And Neons are hard to make. So, do I believe the swatches? I don't know. Like, if if the swatches are believable, like, then yes, it would be worth it. But, I, I have a feeling they're not, they're like, maybe one two three like built up mm. each shade is six bucks which isn't bad considering it does cost more to make a neon and usually neons are usually classified under pressed pigments so don't know number 24 24 See, the longer I film, the more outrageous. Okay. 24 I would definitely buy. It is the Fun Size Mini Palette from Sugar Pill. And it is going to be a permanent one. I know it just came out. And it's cute. It is fucking cute that little digital cat on it or 8-bit whatever you want to call it cat and those rainbow colors 
And it's nice that it's going to be part of their permanent lineup because people are always asking them, I know, when are you going to come out with stuff? And supposedly they make the best eye, like, best matte shadows ever, like, pigmentation wise. Like, I know it's another rainbow palette, but I've always wanted to try Sugar Pill. And the pans are smaller, not like those giant ones, like, you buy for their palettes and stuff like to make your own so that I would get no we did not it's the Sigma enchanted palette and yes I would definitely buy this if I was had more money and if I, like, I don't need it, but, like, would I want it? Would I put it on a wish list? Sure! Like, it looks like a fun one. Like, the duochromes and stuff are, of course, what I would want. And it's just, <clears throat> pardon me, it's just, it looks pretty. It looks like a palette you could travel with and get everything you needed from it so yeah mm. 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 17 I think we did that because I said it was my lucky fucking number Oh, yeah, we did that. 18. Sugary Cosmetics Pineapple Highlighter Palette. If I didn't have so many golden highlights, I would totally buy it. So, let me tell me. But, it's 18 bucks, so, no, maybe I wouldn't buy it. But that's a reasonable time. <laughs> yeah. Less than five for each pan. I would try it maybe, but isn't the greatest. But it's another fruit themed one. Yeah. Oh, we're almost at bingo, babies. It shouldn't be so hard. Number four. Ah, here we go, the free space. <laughs> ColourPop Strawberry Shake Collection. And yes, I really want it because I love reds. And then I saw my friend Meg um, from Birdies for Your Face. She got it and swatched it. And I was like, um, yes, please. I definitely would want, I definitely will eventually get it. Because it's ColourPop and I want... I really want to try those fourth ray milk serum things. Milk, face milk. Some They have some serum. And I need a new serum. So, bam. There goes the free space. It is a Violet Voss Crush Corals palette. It is tempting because I love this color story. But... I just don't think I think I have enough of these colors in my collection but I would buy it I totally would buy it so I only have a little but that's I love the color story like isn't it gorgeous but I can't uh, I'm kind of broken because like those pops of color just pop out at me and then there's a lot of neutrals in there like if you cover up the one side you're like oh that's a little boring but I gotta be smart mm, number 24 <laughs> I did 24 alright we'll do it again boop 26 Benefit Cookie and Twinkle Highlight. 
I would totally get these. They are gorgeous. But, there is a big but. They cost like 30 something each. Yeah. It will last you a long ass time. But, I don't know. But they're so pretty in Thailand. So I would totally buy it if I had the money. <clears throat> Alright, 32. BH Cosmetics Virgo Mini Palette. This is so boring. Like, it is truly... It's not a pop of blue, but it's like kind of blue. Mm, that might be a green. I don't know. But it it's boring. It's like these mini palettes they've been doing. Why? Why are they so boring? And it just annoys me. Like they have something they could really do good on. And they just keep fucking it up. Man. That was an angry eat, not a I buy it eat. Mm. Five. A beauty Bakery Insta Insta Babe Foundation or Insta Babe. I don't know if it's Insta Bake or Insta Babe, but it. It's foundation and it has an inclusive line it looks like because it is beauty bakery and yes I would totally try it it's stuck all over my fingernails <laughs> but I would try it if I had to but I probably look at reviews first to be honest because when I buy a foundation I want it to be something that I enjoy and need because I usually just buy one foundation and don't buy another until I need it because I don't like paying that much money all the time like why have a different foundations but I would buy it Mm, here we go. 27. Max Stars and Glitters. I don't know if they're pressed glitter, but all I see is a lipstick with star imprints and glitter in it. I don't know if it's a bomb or what it would like act like. So, I'm not sure if I'd buy that. So, that's a big no. Mm. All right. Two Face Palm Spring Dreams. This says it looks like a pop of blue in the bottom. It totally does. And I really like the packaging. If I needed it, I would buy it. But it's nothing that like jumps out at me and says, oh, I need this in my life. I definitely don't need it in my life. But it is cute. I'm going to totally do it for uh, Papa Blue. Mm. Mm. Ooh, we're getting closer. Mm -hmm. And next is the Urban Decay Naked Honey. This is boring as fuck. It's just so boring. And it looks like different colors and stages of baby shit, baby puke, anything nasty that comes out of a small child. It's just, no, I am not here for this. Sure, the outside looks great. The packaging on the outside looks great. But the inside, no, 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 no. Why, Urban Decay? Mm. 
Oh my god, we're getting so close, people. Ah, <coughs> uh, no, no, no. I think I've run out of things. The ColourPop Rainbow Collection. That would be under another rainbow palette. And it's just huge. <sighs> yeah, I think we've went through this whole list and I did not get a bingo. Oh, here's something. This is from a perfume company or from Cosmopolitan and they're $55 at Ulta Beauty and they're a perfume but they look like a squished up metallic juice box now I totally want to smell it and the packaging totally intrigues me but um I, I, I'm not paying 55 bucks for something from Cosmopolitan uh like per, per, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, we want... Oh, there's one more. And it is the foundation from... The Luminous Foundation from ABH. And that is not part of the card. And it's a luminous foundation, and I will totally buy it. Like, I want to buy it because I want to try more, like, dewy and then matte foundations because it's something new. But, yeah. Mmm. And the shade range isn't bad, so I can't even mark it down on my card and have a bingo. So, that was me going through my whole goddamn list trying to get a makeup bingo that didn't happen. <laughs> but, anyway, hopefully I can edit this down right and we'll have fun and I'll link you to Andrew's video. I will see you. Next one. Bye.